Hey everybody, welcome to this webinar and today I am going to show you how to professionally handle a HVAC project independently ensuring the results you desire without the fear of making mistakes and uncertainty. What is the root cause of all those questions that I mentioned to you earlier? Let's dig deeper and handle it one by one. So out of this five things, the first four are the things which keep you away from your success. So let's take it up one by one. The first one, confusion in decision making. Now for most of you, I'm, I'm guessing this might not be your first webinar. The first thing I want to mention, if you have failed, when I mean fail, there are people who have tried something in the past and they weren't able to achieve it or confused about selecting your field of profession in the past, then it's not your fault. There is a lot of information out there and it can be confusing. And that information upload keeps you away from your success. And it's okay. The next one is fears. If you are concerned in the past that you just can't succeed with getting a good job or support your family only with a degree or a diploma, or if you are just a fresh pass out, with no skills, then I want to put those fears at rest. You can do this. You just need the right person to explain it to you. Stop taking undue pressures. The big corporates want you to think that you need some fancy degrees or experience to be successful. I am here to tell you they are wrong. They have their own reasons for wanting you to think that, but it's not true. The fourth one is suspicious thinking. If you think these fears and pressures would fail you, then probably you're right. They don't help you succeed. They keep you worried. But the difference with us is that we actually care about your success and truly want to see you living the life you desire. So live your dreams. So that's what I am here for. I know you have a dream to change the world and make an impact. And I want to show you how to make that happen in this webinar. If you are a student or a fresh engineer who has just passed out, you will get a clarity and a vision from my presentation on your goals. And I'm offering you the HVAC industry. So I have a short video which will give you a brief idea on the HVAC industry your new opportunity hello my dear friends welcome to this video where we are diving into the world of hvac heating ventilating and air conditioning let's explore what makes this industry not just a profession but a promising career path for young engineers like yourself have you ever wondered about the vast world of hvac hvac stands for heating ventilating and air conditioning the primary purpose of an HVAC system is to maintain the correct temperature, humidity and indoor air quality in various environments. Now let's talk numbers. According to the recent reports, the HVAC market in India is booming. It was worth $8.6 billion in 2021 and is projected to reach a staggering $21.5 billion by 2028. The demand is skyrocketing due to infrastructure development, technological advancements and the rising need for comfort in various sectors. HVC systems are the backbone of several industries including pharmaceuticals, electronics, manufacturing, food processing, hotels, hospitals, laboratories and more. The industry's significance has only grown, especially with the increasing impact of climate change. As the industry expands, so do opportunities for young engineers. Design, execution, project management and maintenance. There's a place for you with a projected growth rate of 14.8%. The field offers a multitude of avenue for a successful career. Considering the industry demand for trained professionals, I have designed a comprehensive HVAC training program whether you are interested in system design, execution or maintenance. This program equips you with the necessary skills. And here's the exciting part. 
a two month paid internship to cover most of your course fees my goal is to bridge the gap between the industry's demand and the skill of young engineers join us in this exciting journey into hvac engineering and let's contribute to the ever growing field of engineering together if you have any questions or need guidance my contact information is displayed on the screen thank you for watching and i look forward to welcoming you to the hvac family and to justify this i will tell you a short story which is actually my back story i was a broke college student and i started working in my father's workshop my father had a small workshop the typical mechanical engineering workshop with one lathe machine a single power press and a welding set that's it where he worked with his own hands and two other laborers he was doing job work now job work is a process where the client provides you the raw material and you process the material as per the client's specifications it is also called as working on labor basis which has not fetch you much profit just that you barely survive so anyway this was for a big radiator manufacturing company which was in turn supplying radiators for cars trucks buses etc so i started working with him and started working on the machines like a li- i also started adding up some jobs related to machining or welding etc so i could get some extra money to expand the existing workshop buy more machines increase production etc basically to expand wanted to help my father in running the family as a responsible boy just a hand to mouth situation for us then to so grow the workshop increase the productivity and improve our livelihood and side by side pursue my higher education in management the external struggles were i just made a few rupees and on some days nothing and due to this inconsistent patterns of income leave aside my education i even had problems in supporting the family then the internal struggle was that i was still surviving on whatever my father earned then and i was not able to contribute as a responsible boy to help my father and finally i felt like a failure then problems after problems unfolded and felt over huge blocks of rocks over me unfortunately my father passed away in 1997 in a scooter accident yet i tried to run the workshop even after his going supplying to the same radiator company but unfortunately that radiator company closed down due to some internal issues and problems and this radiator company was our biggest client then eventually it became very difficult for me to sustain the workshop and ultimately i had to close it down and now i was left with all the family responsibilities and no income at all then i met someone a senior person in my family who was an architect as he was designing offices and commercial buildings he told me about this upcoming field of hvac and how the industry lacked good engineers in this field so while researching further and meeting people as those days we did not have internet and things were not as easy as today So during this period I came in contact with an engineer from the HVAC field who explained to me that HVAC is totally a different ball game than manufacturing and you and you need to get some basic skills for a HVAC company to hire you. So I requested him to help me out. I visited his house in the evenings where he carried out some basic training for young engineers after his working hours. I took some loan from my friend to pay him and then after a couple of interviews I got my first job in the field of HVAC in a company with a dealer of a known air conditioning brand where I gained further experience although initially it was difficult when you start with a new field to understand the work also you are scared to take the responsibility in the initial days but this basic training which i had taken helped me in understanding the ongoing works at site and understand the functioning of the system as a whole how it works etc for any hvac design or installation works the first thing to understand is the architectural plan as your hvac drawings are made on these architectural plans 
As it was a small dealership of a known air conditioning brand, I got the opportunity to work in projects sales on site and even in maintenance, where I received an overall experience, which eventually kickstarted my journey in HVAC. Then I realized the boost that I could give my HVAC career was due to the basic training which was imparted to me. First of all, I got the job as I had taken some initial training from that experienced person and hence I could understand and quickly pick up information during my work. So here I was with my career back on the track and still I serve the same field. I call this as my ah moment. You know when we experience success, this ah moment comes out like which is a reaction in saying well, at last my career is on path now. Like a, like a sense of relief. So my wish is you all should experience this ah moment in your life my dear friends. Traditionally as a student of mechanical, electrical or any other stream like electronics etc. We have the concept that once we graduate we will take up a job with a manufacturing company and settle down. Once upon a time even I had the same concept. But friends, manufacturing is a repetitive process and with automation and development of AI etc, artificial intelligence etc, repetitive processes can be handled very well and hence the number of skilled or the trained people required will, requ will reduce over the years. In fact, so many manufacturing companies use robots and their processes are already automated and hence the number of skilled forces force which will be required is definitely reduced. It may be labor, supervisor or engineers working on the shop floor, quality or research and development R&D. Moreover, manufacturing is a repetitive process. For example, if a machine is producing say rooftops of a car, then once the machine is set on auto, it will keep on doing the same work for hours until you keep feeding the raw material. And the engineer's job is to just monitor the process. Hence, less number of engineers can easily manage a huge factory. Also, in a repetitive operation, once the systems are set, no much big innovation or skills are required. Basically, automation is meant to reduce the human involvement. So, mistakes are also reduced and the consistency can be achieved. But in a HVAC industry, you have to design, install systems every time for a different architectural layout, different specifications of temperature and humidity, etc. For example, in a pharmaceutical industry, you have very extremely strict norms for temperature, humidity and cleanliness standards. So for providing such indoor conditions requires a lot of engineering inputs and continuous innovation for installation to reduce the cost and install the systems in fastest and the best possible ways. As you have deadlines for the project. In HVAC, each building is a new challenge, different architecture, different challenges and when you have, and when you have challenges, the rewards are also higher. So in HVAC, it may be design, installation or maintenance, you have to think differently for each project. Then requirements of each industry for air conditioning is different. Like in pharmaceutical, as I mentioned, temperature, humidity and cleanliness standards are very critical. Data centers, serv servers generate immense heat. This heat generates various kinds of toxic gases like nitrogen dioxide, carbon monoxide, etc. These gases have to be flushed out, maintaining the required temperature. Because with time, they may deposit on the circuits, making the process inefficient and indoors harmful to humans. Malls and crowded areas like community halls, etc. require sufficient fresh air, especially in the areas of high occupancy to maintain correct standards of fresh air. As, as per ASHRAE standards. ASHRAE stands for American Society of Refrigeration and Air Conditioning Engineers. Have you heard buildings getting sick? It's called the sick building syndrome. It happens due to the lack of fresh air injections. So it's a deep subject which gives you a sense of immense satisfaction on completing a pro project as an engineer. That you have created something which will be used for the betterment of mankind. Some companies also offer bonuses on completing a project successfully to the team. Many times I have seen engineers associate them with the projects they have executed with pride. The secret of success for young engineers for the future is to look out for more innovative fields where they can utilize their skills and knowledge.
HVAC is this kind of field, my dear friends.